Hey, I'm Rob for The Big Green Egg. You're either here because you just purchased a new egg, congratulations and thank you, or you're stopping by before you purchase. Either way, we're gonna get you started using your new Big Green Egg. Let's begin. For best results, use the Big Green Egg Natural Lump Charcoal, made from a selection of 100% premium oak and hickory wood. Natural Lump Charcoal burns hotter and cleaner and lights faster and easier than briquettes. Most briquettes contain chemical additives, coal, limestone, sawdust, starch, and other byproducts. We do not add any petroleum products or chemicals to our charcoal. With our larger chunks, you will use less charcoal than you would with briquettes. It lasts longer and leaves little ash. You also never use lighter fluid. You don't need it and you don't want that taste on your food. Let's get started. First, replace the ceramic damper top with the dual function metal top. Open the dome and remove the stainless steel cooking grid. Then fill the firebox with the Big Green Egg Lump Charcoal just about to the top of the firebox. Now slide the patented stainless steel draft door completely open and you're ready to light the fire. When lighting the charcoal, use one of our electric starters or our Speedy Light All Natural Charcoal Starters. They will all have you ready to cook in minutes. Our popular charcoal starters come in a box of 24 convenient squares. They light easily and are odorless and tasteless with no chemical aromas or residue. To use, nestle one or two starters into the center of the charcoal and light. Replace the stainless steel cooking grid and after seven or eight minutes when several coals are glowing, close the dome and fully open the stainless steel draft door and dual function metal top for maximum airflow. You can also use our eco-friendly igniter charcoal starter to light the charcoal. The igniter easily ignites lump charcoal or wood in just minutes using only superheated air. With the switch on hot, simply hold the tip of the igniter to the lump charcoal. Do not push the barrel into the charcoal. Move the igniter slightly backwards when coals glow, usually within 60 seconds. Then hold about one to two inches from the same spot for approximately 60 seconds to ignite the charcoal. Switch to the fan mode for a few minutes to continue fanning the charcoal. When several coals are glowing, release the switch and the igniter will turn off. Disconnect it from the power source and holding only the handle Carefully rest the igniter on a non-flammable surface to air cool. Remember the tip of the igniter will stay hot for a while after you unplug it. Do not leave the starter unattended or within reach of children or pets. Replace the stainless steel cooking grid and after 7 or 8 minutes when several coals are glowing, close the dome and fully open the stainless steel draft door and dual function metal top for maximum airflow. To use the electric charcoal starter, First, place a completely cool electric starter into the charcoal, then plug it in. After approximately seven minutes, you will see that a few pieces of charcoal are glowing. At this point, remove the starter by first disconnecting it from the power source. Holding it only by the handle, remove it from the charcoal and carefully rest the starter on the positioning bracket to air cool. Remember, the tip of the starter will stay hot for a while after you unplug it. Do not leave the starter unattended or within reach of children or pets. Replace the stainless steel cooking grid. Close the dome and fully open the stainless steel draft door and dual function metal top for maximum airflow. When the temperature gauge is close to the desired cooking temperature, reduce the airflow by adjusting the dual function metal top and the patented stainless steel draft door. Small adjustments may be made later if necessary to fine tune the temperature. The greater the opening, the higher the temperature. The secret to extraordinary food cooked on the Big Green Egg centers around heat retention, air circulation, and temperature control. The dome should be closed while cooking to allow the heat to radiate inside the egg. Leaving the dome open reduces the Big Green Egg to an ordinary, inefficient barbecue grill that allows food to dry out. 
The temperature control system of the egg allows you to cook in every season and weather condition, even rain or snow. Thanks to its high-tech ceramic composition, an egg will endure and maintain extreme temperature differences no matter what the weather. However, be sure to close an unused egg and never allow rain or snow to enter the cooker. Should the interior of an egg get wet, burn off any residue or moisture by drying it out completely and lighting a small amount of charcoal to no more than 350 degrees. Please note, never quickly open a hot egg all the way. Burping your egg allows air to slowly and safely enter the dome, preventing any flare-ups that could escape from the front towards you. Just raise the lid an inch or two and pause to burp it before raising the dome completely. You should get in the habit of burping your egg, especially if you've been cooking at temperatures above 300 degrees Fahrenheit, as it's always a good idea to let fresh air into the hot egg slowly when you open it. When you're finished cooking, simply replace the dual function metal top with the ceramic damper top and close the stainless steel draft door. The fire will soon extinguish and the bigger egg will begin to cool. Because of the thick ceramic walls of the egg, it may take a while to cool. Remember, this works well for keeping foods warm. You'll find that much of the charcoal you started with in your previous cookout has not been consumed. If you close both top and bottom openings when you are finished cooking, the remaining charcoal can be reused. Before firing up the egg, use an ash tool to rake the coals across the cast iron fire grate. The ash will fall through the holes in the fire grate and into the bottom of the egg. Add charcoal, if necessary, to bring the level just above the air holes as before. You are now ready to relight the egg. Periodically, between cooks and when the egg is cool, use your ash tool to reach through the draft door and rake the ash. Also check the air holes in the firebox to make sure that they are clear. These sometimes become filled with small bits of charcoal or ash, which will reduce airflow. For more information, tips, or recipes, visit us on the web at BigGreenEgg.com.